Okay, so no joy in the first year. We're outside one of the better ones now, so fingers crossed we start picking some stuff up. What's up everyone? It's been a bit dry since the last video. We haven't had any luck picking up any games. We're out and about today. Gonna to hit as many charity shops as I can. So let's get out there and get some game hunting done. So no joy in the first year, we're outside one of the better ones now, so fingers crossed we start picking some stuff up. Oh, that place never disappoints. Just picked up a pile of PS3 stuff. Got about 12 games, I think it was, for 24 euros. Some really good titles in there. Uh, so I'm going to head up to CEX now. There's one just up the road from here. Going to try and trade in the stuff that the other CEX that was at the last time wouldn't take. Uh, see what we can get for that. And then we're going to hit one or two more places. See if we can keep this little streak up. <music> Yeah, so that CX took all those discs, which is grand. Uh, it's another 27.50 in credit. Uh, and that's what we already have. I think that brings us up to about 67 euros. So I'm hoping to get some GameCube stuff out of it. They literally had one game up there. Uh, I didn't get it on video. It was inside, it was right across the counter where your mom was checking all the games for me. Uh, but it was Twilight Princess. They wanted 105 euro for it, and I have it already. So uh, we'll keep the money for another day. Um, we're gonna drop into two more charity shops now and see if we can find that now. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, so it's still pretty dry out there coming into the end of January. Uh, just seeing odds and ends of DS games and stuff that weren't worth picking up. Uh, one of those stops, you're saying they had like, it looked like a promising selection of Xbox 360 stuff, but they had everything blank a price for a fiver. Uh, there was no real value in it that I could see. If I missed something, let me know in the comments, but like five euro for Gears of War OG, wasn't interested. Uh, but thanks to that one stop, we did get 12 games. Uh, so we picked up a copy of Mass Effect 3. Uh, this is basically 11 PS3 games in the PS2 end. They were all two year each. Uh, that one had no manual, but someone told me to play it. I think it might have been Aaron, I'm not sure. But Mass Effect anyway, one for the collection. Uh, a copy of Assassin's Creed 2. Again, this is probably only worth two euro, uh, but it's actually in immaculate condition. Like the manual is minty uh, and the disc itself is perfect as well. So just because I could see it in person, it's about what you get it for in CEX, but like, we can't go wrong with that. Uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, uh, a platinum title. I don't really like picking these up, but again, we had like a minty manual and the disc is just, again, it's like it was never even out of the case, so it's perfect. Uh, so we just picked them up to play. I've actually played through that one. I think I have um, the digital version of it on the PS4. Uh, so it's nice to have a physical copy of it. Uh, then sticking to that team, we've got Uncharted 2. Again, minty manual and disc. So great stuff at the shelf. Um, one of probably only two traders that we got was The Last of Us. Classic game, I already have it. Um, but again, these must have all been from someone's collection because this one is absolutely perfect as well. So I'll probably swap this out with my version and then bring this up to trade and we should get about, I don't know, five or six euro for it. Um, picked up Little Big Planet. I was gonna leave it behind and then something about this fella on the front and I was thinking sack boy so I know that's something that's I think it's still going on PS5 so uh, never played it we said we'd give it a go uh, then another one for the trade pile we have Gran Turismo 5 uh, this is complete I'm pretty sure I have one of these already it's like the Academy Edition and I've already traded another Academy Edition as well so another one for the trade pile we got Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion uh, this one has no manual, but it still has the map, so that's nice. Uh, so we'll keep that one for the collection. I think I possibly played through this one. Was this out on the 360 as well? I know I had it back in the day on the 360 anyway and played through it. Uh, this one, Lair, no, absolutely nothing about it. Just looks something medieval with dragons, so straight away that's going to take my interest, so we'll have a go with that. Um, another one I don't know too much about is Genji, Days of the Blade. Um, we'll have a play of it. It looks like it might just be like a bit of a hack and slash, so... They're pretty harmless games. We can kind of kill a bit of an error or two with them. Uh, a copy of Need for Speed Undercover. Again, complete, really nice copy. Uh, so can't go wrong with Need for Speed games. And then the pick of the bunch was this Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. Uh, this is the limited edition steelbook version. And it is 100% like complete. It's got really nice disc. Uh, it's got the manual and it's actually got the little guide that comes with it as well. So. It's hard to tell how much it's worth. Like CEX, I think, are saying that they're valuing the game at 15 and the actual just tin itself at 12. And then some eBay sales here are showing that it's going for like 30 or 40 euro. So it doesn't really matter anyway. It's one for the shelf that we're going to keep. Yes, yeah, so that's all we picked up since the last one. Nice little pile there. Uh, we did go up to CEX and get all those games traded in. Uh, I think I talked about it in the car, but we're up to about 67 euro now in trade credit. So I was hoping to pick up a few GameCube games, but they only had one in there. So we'll hold on to the credit until we see something decent. Uh, hopefully we get a few good games for the collection out of that. Um, but other than that, there's not much happening. Uh, the game room is nearly here. I know I've probably been talking about this for the last six months now, uh, but we're pretty close to being back in. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to do a little video on that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll be going to drop a short next week. Uh, again, I mentioned it in the last video, just a couple of people have been on to me talking about uh, how I collect retro games here how i game hunt so i'll probably do a couple of short videos on that uh just little hints and tips for people that are looking for them but yeah other than that i uh, hope everyone's keeping well uh keep an eye for those videos hopefully we get some game hunting in over the next few weeks as well and start having a little bit more success uh, and in the meantime look after yourselves thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon cheers